everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Clash of Clans! Down all seven! Woo! Haha! <laughs> oh, didn't realize. Um, so yeah, um, I have Town Hall 7. Now, I did a miscalculation <laughs> with the timing. Uh, in a way, I mean, uh, these are upgrading. These are the last two things that need to be upgraded to, I guess, max out Town Hall 6. They're already, well, um, more than halfway, I guess. Well, this one isn't, but it's almost halfway uh, because they take, or they took three days. Uh, but we can wait that out. We've got two free builders. And first things I want to do is I didn't do it in the last video and, and I only opened gem boxes on camera uh, just so that people don't see me go up like, you know, 40 gems uh, between episodes. And like, oh, he bought gems. He bought 40 gems or whatever. So, um, I mean, I do these and sometimes they give you a few, but, um, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to open the gem box, get the 25 gems. And as you guys can see, I'm maxed out again. And even when I did it the way that I did it, um, still still got stuck with um you know with too much gold and elixir so i actually didn't even play at all for like the last day and a half two days because i didn't have well, what am i doing i didn't even I, I just didn't have anything to do my everything was maxed out so uh, you know there really wasn't much to do and and it, it it was kind of annoying because you know as you can build your barbarian so quickly right now uh but yeah i mean you know i Let's see what, yeah, okay, so 12 hours, 12 hours, and I was just, what was I, oh no, maybe I played a little bit, but look, then, then, yeah, there was like a two-day gap here where I, uh, yeah, that was a really bad one, I don't know what I was doing there, uh, but, um, but, uh, oh yeah, I was just going after trophies, I guess, and I didn't do so well, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you guys see, I, I had almost a, a two-full-day break because there really wasn't anything to do, um, I, Apparently, like, I really, I, I gotta see this, because I logged in and I had 29, or plus 29 trophies, like, wow. So I wanna see, how how did how did they do so poorly with 200 level five barbarians? I mean, is my defense that good? I don't, I mean, he didn't even get much gold. Like, I, is it, uh, you know what his problem was? This guy, he was trying to, I guess, cons well, there was two things. I think he was trying to conserve troops, and he probably thought uh, incorrectly that, um, if you guys see here, my, my collectors are empty. So he probably thought that my collectors had all of the loot in them. But yeah, this didn't go very well for him. I don't even think, did, did he, yeah, I don't think he ends up even breaching. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he did breach it with one barbarian. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Look at that, 1,800 gold and 6,000. He probably came in and he's like, oh, yes, 100,000 of each. This is going to be awesome. And then, no. <laughs> Just no. Okay, Um, because th that's happened to me too, where I see like these big numbers. I'm like, yeah, and then I just totally fail. So, uh, 67 new things. And... Um, so this is this is a recommendation. I'm gonna. I mean, I, I I made it last time, and I'm gonna make it. Oh, actually, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so first things first. Uh, when you guys upgrade a Town Hall Seven, I think the first thing you should do, and the first thing I'm gonna do, upgrade your lab. It takes two days, and well, let me show you why. Uh, because I don't know if it'll let me click this when it's um upgrading. But look, level five labs. So that's what we're upgrading to. We get we'll get level four barbarians, level four giants, level four wall breakers, level. Four wizards will get level four. I mean, look at all this. Everything will be level four. Um, uh, then we will get level two healers. Then we'll be able to get a level four healing spell. Um, along with, I think we'll be able to upgrade like dragons because we'll get those um, when we uh, upgrade the barracks. Maybe a rage spell upgrade as well. But I mean, that is going to be killer. I mean, imagine all of these at level four, right? Uh, I think that my army is going to be a lot stronger. So that's the first thing. Do that right away. That is, um, I think, one of the number one things you can do to make yourself, um, I guess, more, um, uh, more, uh, ag not aggressive, but, uh, but more competitive when you are raiding. So, oh, by the way, we lost the war by a lot. <laughs> we got crushed uh, 125 to 86 and look at that they uh, they used the same number of, atta of attacks as we did 83 to 83 but they won 69 of them and not only that uh, oh I did get war bonus um, not only that you see their average destruction is 92.6% let me see if I can uh, show you guys look at that so out of their 
83 attacks. They got 34 three stars, 11 two stars, and one, one yeah, one one star. Yeah, so look at the percentage of three stars to the rest. I mean, they only got one one star, and I think their clan strategy, and, and I think it should be our clan strategy moving forward, is attack whatever base you think that you can three star. It doesn't matter if it's, the, you know, you're recommended. It doesn't matter if it's your, um, if it's your, uh, your mirror or whatever, just, if you think you can three star it, go for it. Because if you can think you can three star something, you'll probably, you could get three stars. You will most, well, you'll definitely get one star, probably end up with two stars. And I think that's the way we need to approach the next war moving forward. Um, so uh okay so now defenses obviously uh these are gonna take no time at all uh to build well you know walls obviously take literally no time to build and uh i think that should be your next upgrade um is that gonna okay ah oh, what what is, what <laughs> what's going on here what, what happened here i don't know why that uh where's where's my walls okay here we go let's just um come on come on it's weird the way that it like sort of lags every time I click that button. Uh, but yeah, this is a lot there. I think how, how many new walls did it say? Do I get 50? That's going to be a pretty expensive upgrade. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Wow. Look how long. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Woo. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all these walls actually. Uh, yeah, I think it is 50. Okay. That's expensive. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay, cool. All right. So we've got all our walls here. Um, and, uh, what I want to do, oh, let me collect my gold here from my clan castle. I haven't done that yet. Yeah! Woo! Look at that. Oh, did it? It didn't even empty. Sweet. Okay, good. So, the good thing is that I do have a ton of money to start with here. Um, so I can go ahead and upgrade and upgrade. We can get ourselves at least to, like, um, whoa. Let's, uh, let's wait on that one. Uh, let's at least go with the, with these walls here. Um, it's just that going to gold walls, um, I don't want to quite do yet. I want to make sure that I'm upgrading all of the stuff, the other stuff kind of first, um, so that I have, uh, you know, I have the money to do it. I don't know why I didn't upgrade this one to the, uh, there we go. Select row, upgrade, yes, and select row, upgrade, yes. Okay, so, oh, and I upgraded one to gold. Good job. <laughs> dumb, dumb. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, I forgot that these these collectors or my uh, my mines were full. Sweet. Okay, so we're still going. Let's see how much do we have left in here. Nice. 1.4 million. Okay, good, good. So, um, uh, so we have to wait for this. Uh, okay, so now, um, like I said, and I've said this before, um, you you're gonna want to build everything that's really really quick to build. Like for example, uh, you know th this. You want to build all of these right from the start just build each one right so like right now for example uh, especially this um with the bonus that or with the the increased speed of building your um barbarians right adding a fourth barracks with your barbarians taking four seconds to build really 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 gives you the ability to raid over and over and over again and max out your gold and elixir so that you can build more stuff i mean that's assuming that you guys are upgrading uh, Town Halls right now to Town Hall 7, just like I am. Uh, but still, same thing applies. I mean, this thing's only going to be able to make Barbarians. Uh, although, upgrading it to the next, uh, to level 2 Barracks doesn't really take very long. And I think that'll unlock the Archer for us. And uh, the great thing is, too, this will be upgraded. Uh, we can upgrade to level 4 Barbarians and Archers. And this will crank out level 4, even though it's a low-level Barracks. So, uh, that's... That's, you know, a very good thing to to start with. So, like, look, I mean, I can do this. I can fill it up. I mean, I can... I'm, okay, so it, don't, it only lets you train 20 at a time. But still, I mean, it's still just as fast as all the other ones for training barbarians. Um, of course, build your cannon. You want to get, I mean, put out the defenses uh, in the same way. And, and what I do recommend is just like the collectors, um, you know, how, um, you know, uh, upgrading a collector, right? Oh, wait, this one's not upgrade. What? Ah, oh, how did I miss that one? Well, ah, oh, man. Okay, well, anyway. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, but, okay, so anyway, so upgrading a mine, right? So this this takes four days to upgrade, and, you know, you get 500 extra per hour. But I've said before that if you build uh, a new one, um, 
right off the bat, you get more and it only takes like a minute or five minutes or 15 minutes to upgrade. So it's always best to build something like this and upgrade it. Well, I, I would actually recommend upgrading one of these barracks so you can unlock the dragon, but um, go ahead and upgrade this one until it gets to the level of these before you start upgrading the rest of them. Um, and same goes for the cannon. Upgrade this cannon to a, you know, to this level and then start upgrading these because look, I upgrade this, it's gonna take two days. Uh, so it'll be down for two days and I'll get 48 damage per second or I'll get extra eight damage per second. But I built this one and we've already got nine damage per second and it took one minute. So that's already an increase in damage given i guess or and then look another two for 15 minutes so that is really the way you want to do things um oh look i get two cannons sweet i guess they always, they always come in pairs don't they um so yeah upgrade the can or build the cannons build the archer tower um I, I would yeah i would build a mortar as well okay bombs um and yeah you want to build all of these straight off and then just start upgrading them you know these Short upgrades, mortar does take a little bit longer to upgrade, uh, but um, if you have more builders, really, really will help. Like I said, always save your gems uh, for for buying builders. So right now, if, if I had uh, spent my gems that I've gotten from achievements, and I'm about to get one too, I think, the 250 multiplayer, I think. Yeah, getting close. Uh, but if I'd spent my gems on things like, you know, like, oh, I'm tired of waiting. Let me, you know, spend 382 gems on that. Um, it, it, it wouldn't be as useful of a use of my gems, right? Uh, you know, the gems are limited and they're hard to get unless you pay for them. So, uh, but saving for the builders, I've got four builders for the rest of the game rather than spending 382 on the lab, which is a one-time upgrade. Um, I've got these builders forever. So I think that is the best use of gems. Once you have all five builders and you're still building up gems from gem boxes and whatnot, then you, you know, then you can use them on things like this to speed things up if you want, uh, because there's no more builders. But I would say save your all your gems until you've um until you've uh, got all the builders. Um really well, I think that's good advice. <laughs> I say well, I think it's good advice, but um may maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, ooh, 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 another giant bomb, sweet. Oh, and a seeking air mine too. So yeah, I mean, especially these, uh, go ahead and buy these and same deal. Um, you know, you're, you're gonna wanna upgrade this uh, to, cause look, I got uh, what 175 damage bomb. It's a second bomb, period. Um, so I can put it in another location and this takes a whole day to upgrade and it only gives an additional 25 damage. So uh, definitely the way to go. Um, let's see, what else was there that we could buy that takes no time to build? So yeah, you want to go for the things that take no time to build. Stick them wherever you can for now. Um, in the next episode, I'll have most of the structures. So we'll go ahead and redesign, um, a town hall level seven base. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it like it is and just place everything around. Okay. So, ooh, expo. Um, or crossbow, uh, resources. What did we get out of this? I wish. Okay. Oh, dark elixir drill. Um, okay. So this is the other thing. Um, these two, both the dark elixir drill and the dark elixir storage, uh, take the same amount of time to build. But what I'm going to do and what I recommend you do is, um, is, well, I'm not going to, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to commit this builder to just yet. And maybe dragons, although technically I should, no, I'm gonna use this builder. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna upgrade this just yet. What I'm gonna use this builder for is uh, going through all of these quick upgrades. Um, so he's gonna be bouncing around from uh, um, item to item, or I guess defense to defense. Um, but uh, yeah. So so what I was saying is um, uh, on this. Uh, what what I recommend you do is instead of getting the dark elixir drill first, they take the same time to um, to create. But um, the, the Dark Elixir Drill, oh, it doesn't say how much it stores. But uh, the thing is, at this point, you've probably, if you're at Town Hall 7, just coming into Town Hall 7, you've attacked people that uh, have Dark Elixir, but you don't have anywhere to put it. So you have zero, and that will continue until you have a Dark Elixir storage. So um, I would say the best thing to build first is the Dark Elixir storage so that while you're raiding, while you're building things, if you come across someone who has Dark Elixir, you'll have a place to put it and then build the Dark Elixir drill. Um, and uh, also we should, oh, 
definitely build the army camp. That is huge. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Um, but uh, this is huge because this will uh, give me an additional, I think, starting off, I think, 20 or 25 straight off the bat. Um, so, and then it's quick upgrades to get it up to um, the levels of these. And again, same deal. Uh, this only gives me plus five, right? It takes five days to upgrade. But this one takes me five minutes and adds 20. So same deal. Just build all the new stuff as quickly as you can uh, because that is going to give you um, a, a, a bigger advantage. Now, where is... What I'm looking for, I, I don't know where the dark, I want to see the, I want to see the, yes, that's what I wanted to see right there. And also the dark barracks is pretty cool um, because you can start building other troops like uh, minions and, um, uh, you know, well, I think it starts with minions. I think they're the, the first dark elixir troop. I'm not sure. Uh, but again, you're going to need gold elixir to, um, Gold elixir, dark elixir to uh, to build these troops. But uh, this is a good start, and and the barbarian king needs ten thousand dark dark elixir, which takes forever, I think. Uh, but I'm not gonna really focus on that. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the storage, you know, work on the drill, whatever. But uh, sort of slowly build up to that ten thousand dark elixir, and uh, I'm gonna need a name for him. But 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 we'll get to that when I actually get him. Um, so, uh, <laughs> this is a pretty exciting, uh, okay, so, um, let me, um, let me go ahead and let this finish, and I'll sort of, uh, shuffle things around a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer, but I'm not gonna redesign the base for a Town Hall 7 base, because I don't have all of this stuff just yet, and then I'll be back with the, I guess, redesign with the walls and stuff. Okay, guys, well, that is a very good way to spend all of your gold. Uh, I upgraded, I accidentally upgraded this one to level six, but um, yeah, most of the walls are uh, upgraded to at least level five, which is actually a little bit further than I thought I would get. I mean, except for right here. Uh, so here's what I did uh, with the base design, and let me um, build something. Uh, let's get this going here. Um, so what I did is, all I really did is put these extensions here, uh, to, to, um, to protect my gold mines. Uh, for me, um, as you can see right now, I mean, for example, uh, I'm down to 24,000 gold. I still have 1.7 million elixir. Um, that is going to shift a little bit when this thing finishes, uh, because I'll be using it to, um, to upgrade troops. But that said, I always feel like uh, gold, I'm uh, always shorter on gold than I am on elixir, uh, at least at this point in the game. Maybe maybe as the game moves on, it'll be shifted or maybe it'll be more uh, even. But for now, what I've decided to do is uh, leave my elixir collectors out um, and, leave, and put my gold mines in. That just gives people uh, a little bit more work to get to my gold mines. Um, so, uh, so just put these extensions on here and, uh, got them upgraded to decent walls. Um, of course a cannon in each little pod, I guess. And I think that'll help. Um, you know, it, uh, it, it sort of does push. Well, actually it doesn't really change it much, right? Um, once they breach the walls, it'll be, uh, the wizard tower again, going after them just as if the walls weren't there before. So, I mean, and right in here, they might get a little bit of, uh, of, I guess, attacked by it. But I think it's pretty, uh, this is just, I mean, literally an extension on my level six because I want to wait until I have a few more of the, uh, of the, of the defensive structures and also, you know, the dark elixir, uh, storage and things like that. So we can start protecting the things that are important, like the gold storage. Uh, I think I'm going to put my dark elixir storage in here as well. Uh, so we'll have to do a complete redesign and, uh, hopefully in the next episode, but if not, the episode after that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Clash of Clans. I hope you learned a little bit about what at least I think are the best way to uh, go from level six to level seven town hall and uh, what you should focus on in the beginning uh, in order to start to excel in town hall seven. So I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line. We'll